Hey guys, one slow ride here. Um, going, I have a uh, little little model review here, I guess you could say. Um, AMC Gremlin Grabber. Uh, these things were out back in the day, in, in my day when I was young, and, and they were ugly, but yet they were still kind of cool. So when the hobby shop said that they were going to release them, I said, give me two and I immediately put one on eBay and sold it and I made a couple of dollars off of it but the only one I kept um, I was kinda of bummed when I heard that uh, this kit doesn't have uh, an engine even though you can see an engine coming through the hood I was kinda of a little upset about that um, I did open this up last night and checked it out and thought I would share it with you um, the chrome is pretty good. Um, the wheels, well, they're, they are a little funky. It looks like off something off a Mack truck, you know? But the chrome looks great. It really does. Um, and the tires, slick tire. It's one piece with the mold line right down the center. And we got here um, a grill insert. And that's it, man. I mean, we have the body, we have the, the subframe, the interior. I mean, it's it's not a very hard kit. Oh, and, and my engine? Well, there it is. That's, that's my engine. And the other half, it's on the bottom of the subframe. Beautiful, right? I mean, it's... This, this is what cracks me up. Skill level 2. And, and this is this is what I have. Even the directions are uh, they're a little cheesy for the most part. It's uh, it looks like really a, a cut and dry kit. Not not a whole lot there. You can probably just throw them away. I mean this this is I probably we would say it's. It's it's basically a snap kit, but it doesn't say on the box that it's a snap or it's a glue. It, it doesn't say anything. Um, the one thing that I do like about it, there are a couple of things, is is uh, the detail on this undercarriage is incredible. I mean, that's just insane. And right here. I don't know if it's going to focus in. Let me let me try this. I don't think it's going to work either, is it? It's getting a. Oh, there's some. You, you can just see some of the the details in it. Lindbergh logo and. It looked like 2008 Chrysler, but this this was released uh, sometime last year. Um, but the the plastic itself is it's 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 very thick. It's it's a very strong strong plastic. It's not not flimsy by far. Uh, the interior is very thick. The subframe is very thick. Even even the body. Oh, come back here. The body itself is uh. It's very, it's it's thicker than most your 125, 124 scale cars. It's 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 thick. It's sturdy. It's strong. It's it's great. The engine. Are you, are you ready for this? It just kind of. Well, let's see if I can get this with one hand here. You just uh, pop that through. It will just snap right in there. See, just like that. Ta-da! It actually has a pin that it sits on. And that's that's what gave me trouble. That's why I couldn't do it with one hand. But uh, yeah, I mean that's kind of cheesy. But you know, I'm gonna fill the hole in because I'm not gonna put a motor in it. I'll, I'll probably just fill the hood in. Um, there was a considerable amount of flash on on this particular model. You know, the the body it's not too bad, but uh, there is. Um, some discrepancies with it. You can see that right there. I mean, that's just obviously that's going to take some fill and some flash on it. 
the interior isn't too bad um, there's there's no dashboard this is it this is what you get you get the vents on the top for the defrost and that's it you got your glass and you have your let me see your steering wheel here which also comes with a lot of flash so it's 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 a flashy car but it's thick it's a 120th scale um, there is a huge model car show coming up in April April and there's another one in May one in the one in April is in New Jersey northern New Jersey and the other one is in Towson Maryland which is just past Baltimore I believe um, each one is is quite a few hours away from me from where I'm at one is four and one is three hours away so I'm, I'm trying to get some different cars together so I'll have the 56 done the the dually pickup truck is done but I'm working on another project to kind of go with that because it's a truck well it needs a trailer needs something to pull right so I want the gremlin to get done and I'll probably build another Trans Am uh, and, and try to take some different stuff to the shows and, and go there and hang out and talk to other fellow modelers and other people from my my model club that's that also live in Jersey and they go to it and got a chance to meet up with a couple of them and that's pretty cool so if you guys get out there let me know man and uh, I'll be sure to look for you well that's it that's my review um, I'm probably going to paint this one blue because I bought some blue at the last model show I went to and it was this uh, Tamaya Tamiya, Tamaya, whatever you call it. Um, I heard a lot of good things about this blue, or about the Tamaya paints rather, and I want to try it, so I figured this would be a nice one. I was going to paint my Trans Am blue, but I'm I'm going to look into different colors of the Trans Ams. Um, but here I have a you know nice little collection of different types of model paints that I I use. Yeah little shot of the uh, desk here uh, mixing the paint this is a handy little tool made from Badger it's awesome you stick this down in the bottle turn it on and it mixes all that paint and it's it's unbelievable Harry at the hobby shop told me about it and I was dragging my feet to buy one because it was like 13 bucks. Well, to me, that's a model kit. You know, it's like, eh. So, I bought it, and I tell you what, I highly recommend it. This thing is, is just cool. It was like $12.95. It's, it's Badger Airbrush Company Paint Mixer. It takes like two AA batteries. Um, it, it, it comes apart easy to clean I just dip it in a uh, paint thinner or water depending on the paints that I mixed up and just spin it wipe it down with a paper towel and it's done man I mean I have that for a year now and it's it's great it's it's one of the best things that I I have bought for this hobby it mixes the paint up any old paint you know like say testers that's a little bit thick I put a couple drops of uh, lacquer thinner in it stuff that thing down there and next thing you know she's She's silky smooth. It just thins that paint down, and it's it's good to go. And I I, I I can't say enough about this thing. It's it's just awesome. So if you don't have one, highly recommend it. I tell you, you'll thank me for it later. Anyway, that's a one slow ride. That's all I got going on right now. Um, got a couple of my projects off the shelf. You know they're they're going to be uh, done. Um, 57 Chevy. It's I'm going to try to have that one done. I've been working on a Continental kit for that still i mean i, I kind of put it away until i get these other projects going but you know you know how it is in the hobby man you get one going and you start something else next thing you know you got three or four or five of them going at the same time and, and never going to finish one of them so anyway once a little ride rambling on signing off over and out you all have a good day keep building and uh be nice to somebody will you it's the only way to be